Hi, we're going to go over the Lemon Laws for the state of Alabama. Now, what is a Lemon Law? It is basically a law provided by the state to help consumers uh, so that protects them. And in the state of Alabama, it only covers new vehicles so that uh, car companies can't go out there and so sell basically bad vehicles uh, to consumers. So we're going to click on this link right here so we can see what the Lemon Laws are for new vehicles. And as we can see here, the vehicles that are covered are under all vehicles under 10,000 pounds. And it must be within the first two years of the uh, vehicle's existence and under 24,000 miles. Now, what are the qualifications for a lemon? The vehicle must have had at least three attempts at fixing an issue by an authorized agent. Now, an authorized agent is someone who is basically just licensed uh, by the state as a dealer for that specific vehicle. So uh, this is such as like a Toyota dealership or uh, whatever dealer it is that the vehicle is. And or if the vehicle has been in the possession of the uh, agent for at least 30 days without being fixed, meaning they just can't get to the bottom of the issue, then uh, it qualifies as a lemon. Uh, now, what are the malfunctions? What does it have to be? Uh, one of the following must be occurring for it to be a manufacturer's defect. Uh, and if you read these, basically what it, it says is that it has to be something that significantly, like the first line says, impairs the use or value of the vehicle. Meaning that uh, if it's something s small, just like the rear view mirror, that uh, for some reason just won't stick to the windshield, that may not cover. But something as like uh, the steering wheel or power steer steering that keeps going off, so it inhibits uh, your right to drive the vehicle, then uh, that might be something that would co uh, qualify. So uh, the party at fault it is the manufacturer of the vehicle, which means that you cannot go after and sue the uh, dealership because technically they did not make the car. Compensation, as you can see, the consumer may choose uh, one of the two following ways. They can replace uh, the vehicle with something that is comparative, or they can refund you uh, with the equation that is shown in this little diagram right here. Now, how to file a lemon say you've gone through all this and you know for a fact that you have a lemon and say the uh, the manufacturer is not responding what you have to do is send a certified letter to the manufacturer uh, stating the correction the manufacturer must answer within seven calendar days uh, stating the final repair that will be attempted the manufacturer may have the vehicle for up to 14 calendar days in order to repair the defect and if the vehicle is not returned within 14 days, so the problem is not fixed, uh, then you have your choice of compensation from these two items above. Now, say for instance there is a disagreement, what you have to do is contact the Attorney General, which can be done by using this complaint form right here. And now you're on this complaint form. This will show you how to fill it out. Basically, you go to this web page. Well, that link is not working right now, but basically this is what the page looks like in this picture. And you just fill it in with all your information and that's it. That is how you file the lemon. And that is an overview of the lemon laws in the state of Alabama.